Change the Beat was a creative project that explored the importance of music in teenage years to support and enrich the development of a positive self-identity, as well as providing confidence, motivation and a sense of belonging. The project invited teenage asylum seekers, refugees and migrants from across Cork County to work with artists and curators at the Glucksman in August 2019. Through creative activities, the group developed a greater understanding of their own musical habits and how what they listen to represents who they are and who they hope to become. The Change the Beat project was delivered as part of the Glucksman's wider creative agency programme that seeks to empower young asylum seekers to participate in imaginative projects and enable them to present their voices and views in the public realm. The Glucksman is an inclusive organisation that encourages participation from people who may not ordinarily or easily access cultural experiences. In working with young refugees and asylum seekers, one of the main things we want to do is just give them a chance to have the experience of being here in the museum in a joyful way, exploring their own creativity. What we also hope to do is create visibility for these extraordinary young people and show the positive contribution that they can make to our society. Of course, for us, this wouldn't have been possible without the extraordinary work of our colleagues here in UCC who've been working with these young people for over 20 years. The research on direct provision tells us an awful lot. It tells us that it's detrimental to people's physical health, people's mental health, it restricts people financially, it restricts people socially. Um, its damage is permanent and lasts well beyond the time that people are in direct provision. Um, the conditions restrict children's opportunities to play, opportunities to make friendships, it stigmatises children and they're very well aware of, the, um, of, 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 of these restrictions. Um, basically it tells us that it's Ireland's 21st century institutionalisation and we call it state terror in the 21st century as well. I circulated a, a begging email for funds for Christmas parties and I included on that a few paintings that had been done by children of the houses and hotels that they were living in. And um, these paintings were really quite horrific and they were like children's nightmares. And um, Fiona, the director of the Glucksman, saw the, um, these pictures and I think they, they almost um, hurt her in, in terms of she could see what the, these uh, pictures were conveying. And she wrote to me pretty much immediately and asked how the Glucksman could get involved with um, children who were living in direct provision. And from that basically flowed the, the, the various projects that um, the Glucksman have, have, have uh, coordinated and organised and um, follows this, the, the, the huge engagement of the Glucksman with children in direct provision. Creative opportunities are really important for children um, in challenging and finding an outlet for, for the restrictive conditions in which they're living. It gives them an opportunity to, to expand themselves, to develop their talents, um, to be creative, um, to get confidence. And I think very importantly, it also shows them that people outside the Direct Provision Centre actually care about them and are really genuinely interested in their well-being. It's actually really a nice place to come to. It's fun, it's nice, they talk to us like, and we meet new people, like friends, stuff like that, yeah. And I think it's actually good for children and even youth to do stuff like this. I have no words. I was involved in a project last year at the Glucksman and while on that project I was able to tour UCC and I grew a liking and appreciation for it and now I'm studying biochemistry. I'm in my second year and I've met a lot of great people 
UCC is definitely a friendly place, a welcoming place, and I must say that the project has opened up the university for me, which is really a great thing. Since the inception of the Glucksman's Creative Agency program in 2015, we've been committed to hosting the creative workshops in the civic space of the museum, rather than in the confinement of the accommodation centres. Although it is organisationally more challenging to bring the young people to the museum, it is a necessary first step towards establishing a more creative dialogue with them. I loved making the shirts. Brilliant. I, I've never thought of making my own shirt. But now I have. My eyes have been open a bit. And the printing. Mm, it's a new way of looking at art. And my collage, it was like an um, extension of my mind to my hands. Brilliant, I should say. It opens my mind to more creativity, more things I don't think about. Also, it gives me a chance to socialize more than I usually do. Change the Beat invited teenagers to work with artist Shane O'Driscoll and Glucksman education assistant Lucia Taubler over six creative sessions and to design artworks for public exhibition across the city. The project explored the importance of music in teenage years we wanted the participants to consider the role music plays in their lives and how it shapes their identity. Like music's always had influence on me, I think, from my teenage years, especially with the band I listened to and again the artwork and the visuals that went along uh, with the album covers I saw was kind of replicate like the type and the imagery like that. So I think it kind of defines you and the people you hang out with. So it definitely was a massive part of me and while growing up and even today in my own artwork. Uh, a lot of titles from my own uh, prints are titles from either lyrics or some titles of what I'm actually listening to within the studio at the same time I'm making work. So it, it's, even today it still has quite a key part to my own art making process as well. When you're teaching anyone a new skill you get to see the, I suppose, the fun and the excitement of learning new things and the outcomes that can be achieved from learning something new. Going from like, you know, the first class where everyone's a bit kind of quieter and as you kind of go on over time, it's a confidence builds up, which is like in anyone learning anything. And that, that was a key thing I've learned in the difference from the first uh, workshop to the last. I know they'll have artworks throughout the city. Uh, and that would be a huge thing, I think, a key thing in, in this whole process was instilling that confidence and they can take, take it to, to new places beyond that, you know. It's, it's such a key thing to be able to take away these skills and develop upon them like that, you know. So it was that kind of, that's where the whole kind of DIY aesthetic came into it in regards to like the zine making, uh, the t-shirt making as well. Uh, it was just a very much that kind of lo-fi um, kind of style which tied into that, I think, in the teenage element of when you used to make mixtapes, you know. You kind of made do with what you had. So once they kind of leave the gallery, they can go and, you know, find magazines, papers, uh, and cut images up in text and kind of recreate it to kind of create their own message. It's a skill they can take and develop beyond the gallery. Shane is a very nice person and he wants us to get like out of our zone and think more creative and make nice projects. Like he actually thinks about like what we like like us young people are actually interested in like we a lot of us are like really interested in music like now we love listening to music like, like music is like taking over our life like kind of taking over our life. So like it's actually very nice like he's actually talk about music like which we do a lot like and listen to a lot. I might do that about like um women like like women rights and like stuff like how us women like should feel like important and like, shouldn't feel like we're not important to like the community because sometimes us women are like not like really appreciated like with what we do. The city of Cork has seen many positive movements in recent times towards making the region a welcoming place for all people. These movements have been driven by committed individuals who see the value in diversity and inclusion. Yeah, I've been working with teenagers for many years, doing music workshops all over the years, but most particularly in the last couple of years at uh, Nanonegal Place in the Cork Migrant Centre with Andrea Williams. Uh, she's a choreographer and dancer and we're teaching teenagers from the greater migrant community, uh, including direct provision, uh, teaching them dance. Over the years I've seen a massive impact, in fact I actually set up a record label with one of the youngsters that I was working with who I met in a workshop in UCC back in 2005 and now he teaches me everything in the studio. But in the last few years, particularly with the Cork Migrant Centre, uh, and it's mostly girls, 
It's a massive for their uh, self-esteem and confidence and uh, attitude. So it's, it's a big thing in that regard. These projects are essential um, for the teenagers, for the younger ones even coming up behind them. I mean, this is still uh, uncharted territory. There's uh, lots of people who are just trying to settle in Ireland. And uh, particularly with the uncertainty and the, the, the kind of climate out there at the moment, it's just uh, very important for people to feel included, I think. And uh, these projects are essential, so hopefully they will get more organised and funded and uh, we can do more of them. Um, I feel like the public should like know a lot about us, like as migrants, like because like like it's not easy like coming here and like just with, like fitting in, like you know, and like places like refugee centers, like where we live in, like we're always like trapped. We don't do anything. We just wake up, sleep, eat, sleep, same routine like every day. So when there's like an opportunity like this, like like it's it's very big for like us as migrants. Like so, like we're very thankful like to like people who like sponsor us and like call us to do like these things because we improve on what we do and like we become like better. Before like we're like in Africa and like there's wars and stuff, so it's not like nice to like grow up in a, such environment and like people mostly in Africa have like a lot of talents like that would like make an impact in the society but like they don't have the opportunity. My generation needs education to reach elevation. As a university art museum, the Glucksman is in a unique position of being able to work with academic colleagues who can influence policy and practice. As part of the Change to Beat project, we collaborated with Dr. Eileen Hogan and Dr. Katrina Nilera from the University School of Applied Social Studies. The IRC research project explored the music consumption habits of young people living in direct provision, providing a unique insight into their experiences of living in an institutionalised setting. So our reasons for doing this research was to explore how young people experience living in direct provision. But we wanted to look at it through their experience of their um, music consumption. So we were interested in how young people listen to music, what kinds of music they're interested in, how it shapes their sense of identity and well-being. And then we also wanted to look at the impact of participation in the art workshops uh, through the Glucksman. So particularly looking at this music themed art workshop. In our research we're particularly interested in finding ways of engaging with young people that enable them to express their identities and their feelings. Um, and I suppose in a context where there may be a lot of misconceptions in society about immigrants, about asylum seekers and about young people in general, we were really keen as researchers to create the kinds of spaces that allow young people to uh, tell their stories in their own words, whether that is through the medium of dance or music or art or the spoken word and in that way I think to contribute to um, I suppose better understandings of their lives in a way that can be communicated to the public as well. So we're, we're just fresh out of um, the project but some of the initial findings are um, I suppose the importance of providing these opportunities for young people living in direct provision. They're just a really important space for the young people to be and to be together and to relax and to enjoy themselves and to meet young people from the other direct provision centres. So socially it's a really important um, space for them and to get away from the humdrum of everyday life in direct provision centres. Um, and then artistically it's really interesting to see the impact on the young people in terms of the sense of pride they have in um, the artworks that they've produced um, and a real sense of self that they communicate through um, the works that they made. So it's very exciting to see those creative outputs um, also. The support of the Arts Council of Ireland has ensured that the Glucksman is in a position to continually invite back these young people to take part in creative projects in the supported environment of the museum. The ongoing commitment of the Glucksman to young refugees, asylum seekers and migrants positions them visibly within the civic space of the museum. Enabling the teenagers to express their own views in the public domain encourages positive attitudes to the young people as well as an awareness of the limiting conditions in which they must live out their childhood.
you know, the guys are getting a chance to have their work showcased around the city uh, and, and highlight their passions, which is music. It's that kind of visual overview of their own passions and I think the fact that they can see it throughout the city, other people can see it as well. Um, and it'll, it'll, like that, it'll resonate with people. Um, I think that's kind of a, it's a huge thing, you know, and it'll get an enormous sense of pride as well, I think, to walk into a public space and see your work uh, up on a wall. Um, you know, for the first time, it, it's something you never forget, you know. Um, I think it's a good thing because people can see our emotions and how we draw and what we've been learning. I feel that it, w it will be a great experience to see my art all around Cork and uh, for other people to see it because usually when, when I draw, I usually just put it in my sketchbook. I just want to thank them for organizing stuff like this, for making me meet new people and not just sitting home during the summer, you know, like, so it's actually a cool place and a cool thing we're doing here. Yeah.